You buy a Ferrari when you want to be someone. You buy a Lamborghini when you are someone. Well, Mr. Ferruccio, we're about to put those famous words to the test because right beside me, I have the absolutely menacing Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, short for Super Veloce Yota. I'm Patrick Tutulio. This is a car day automotive. Let's see what this menacing beast is all about. <laughs> I want to take a second to answer this question. What makes a Lamborghini a Lamborghini? Well, firstly, it has to be outlandish. And this spaceship looking design surely covers that. Secondly, it has to produce a pure and heavenly internal combustion roar and the 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 rated at 770 horsepower, which screams to 8,500 RPM with its design firing order, which was specifically designed to make the car sound louder and better, I think should cover that. Thirdly, plain and simply put, it just has to be fast. 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds, 0 to 124 miles an hour in 8.8 .8 seconds, and a top speed of 217 miles an hour surely checks that box. Oh, and don't forget that this car was king of the ring for a while, meaning it ain't no slouch on the track. Lastly, a Lamborghini is soul piercing. So let me get on with this review and show you how this one is so piercing. Alright guys, so I have now introduced the top of the line Lamborghini Aventador, the SVJ. I want to take a moment to talk about the exterior. So if we just look at this thing, it looks like a freaking spaceship, man. You get down to the level of this car and it's just coming at you with all these aggressive and sharp lines. If we come closer to look at the front, you have so many different vents and lines just everywhere. You have this red accenting on the front splitter. You have a mid front splitter and carbon fiber. You have these side skirts and vents right here. Everything is just controlling the air. That brings me to this point of the Lamborghini's ALA system, which stands for Aerodynamica Lamborghini Ativa, which is basically Lamborghini's aerodynamic management system. Fun fact, compared to the Lamborghini SV, this, the SVJ, has a 40% increase in aerodynamic efficiency, and that's thanks to this menacing and crazy design here. Coming down to the side of the car now, you have these big forged aluminum wheels with the red calipers as well. You get a carbon fiber side skirt with another fin right there. Again, that's just controlling the air. Carbon fiber mirror as well. Then you get this massive air intake to let that huge 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 breathe, feed it some oxygen so those pistons can fire away. Then you have the SVJ logo right there, another vent right here might I add, and that's in carbon fiber as well. Then you get the engine cover with these hexagonal lines and all this crazy design going on. Look, it's just spaceship like. Then to the back of the car, my favorite piece of the back of the car, are these bazooka exhausts. I can literally fit my fist in it. I mean, is they're absolutely massive. Not many other cars have that. Then you also have this awesome carbon fiber rear wing, which we'll get to in a second. Then you also get this carbon fiber rear diffuser, which is enormous, might I add, as well. And the point I wanted to make about the rear wing, it's a big rear wing, I'll be honest, but it's nothing like a McLaren Center or something like that. But this wing looks so sharp and it literally looks like a, something from Star Wars. If you go from the side, it literally looks like one of those Star Wars fighter jets. It's alien-like almost, but Lamborghini is the only brand that can design a car like this and have it come together and look so beautiful. That is just Lamborghini for you. So basically now I am sat inside the Aventador SVJ. 
It is a little snug in here. You got a carbon fiber steering wheel with Alcantara on the side. This is actually a custom carbon fiber steering wheel. Usually the uh, factory steering wheel is a little bit more circular. This one is hexagonal, which I think fits the car a little bit better. For me, I'm 6'3", so my hair is touching the top of the roof right now. I literally have to sit down like I'm a race car driver. I mean, the seating position is actually race car like. Then you have this start and stop button, which is out of a F-22 fighter jet. You literally pull up this release to start it. And then you have all these, your control panel here, which honestly, I don't really care that much about. I just want to get to driving this thing. And I know you guys want to see that as well. Let's do it. I have a straightaway right now. So I'm going to do a little pull, see what this thing feels like for the first time. 770 horsepower from a naturally aspirated V12. Let's go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! Wow! What's awesome is with that naturally aspirated V12, you get all that torque and you have no boost build or anything. So the power band is a lot more constant instead of curved and exponential at the end. So you just have that power band and that access to the power much more quickly than you would in a twin turbo car. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Insane. Oh, and those pops and those downshifts. <laughs> Holy moly. What a car. What a car, Lamborghini. Oh, oh. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> wow! Holy sh guys, guys, all right. I'm not over exaggerating. This thing is a beast. The traction that you get from the all-wheel drive system is monumental. Just pulls you out of those corners, and the brakes are phenomenal as well. first gear 22 miles an hour holy <laughs> oh, by far by far the most aggressive car I've ever driven there's nothing like this I've ever driven nothing comes close nothing snaps your neck like this I have never felt anything like this this car is truly unique in that sense holy crap We'll do another little pull right here. Just keep, just keep going straight for me. Oh man! This gets your heart going. This thing gets your heart freaking going, guys. Absolutely going. Absolute spaceship. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm trying to replay in my head kind of what I was wanting to talk about with this car, but it's just so sensationally good. It's so good. It's so freaking good, man. I can't get enough of this thing, guys. Oh my gosh. You know what's very interesting, very interesting, is that the upshifts are ridiculously aggressive, but the downshifts are actually not that aggressive. Like I downshift and my head isn't jolting. All right, we're at 3000 RPM in second gear. Let's hit it. Monumental in the way this thing picks up. My goodness, eargasmic. The sound is eargasmic. I'm sorry if you think that's a funny word, it, it probably is, but I think it's the only word that truly describes how this thing sounds. It, it pierces the soul, guys. It pierces the soul. So this car has rear wheel steering, which basically just helps, number one, the turning radius, 
but additionally it helps the car become more stable when you're coming out of corners it also helps with the acceleration and traction as well like there's all these little tweaks that are going on to help the car gain more traction when you're accelerating out of corners also it helps improve stability so the suspension can do better work to increase the kind of agility of the car and the connectivity to the driver the steering wheel does actually a pretty good job of letting you feel all the bumps in the road it's got a good weight to it i'm just going over these bumps and i can feel those bumps kind of adjusting the steering wheel and that's what you want in a high performance vehicle honestly the suspension on this thing is it's stiff right you know it's a freaking race car so that's what comes with these cars and my last name is ditulio I have a little bit of Italian descent, so it just feels like home when I'm in a Lamborghini, you know, it's, it's part of my country. Oh my god, it's so aggressive, so freaking aggressive. Oh my god, holy crap. Guys, that four-wheel steering, it just picks up so well out of the corners. Oh, oh my gosh! We're coming to the end of the review here. Just want to have some more fun, some last pulls here, because this thing is, there's nothing like it. Oh my lord. are sensational guys I mean this car weighs something like 1500 kilos but it is so agile it's so agile and that's just because of the aerodynamic efficiency that I was talking about but you won't really feel that at these low speeds it's more to do with the suspension just the brute force of that naturally aspirated v12 I mean driving a naturally aspirated v12 car is so different and this is the highest horsepower car I have ever driven. I'm in first gear right now, and I'm just gonna show you how aggressive it is. First gear, 4,000 RPM. I'm trying to keep it steady, but let's just step on it real quick. Gosh! Come around a corner, come out of it, and it's just easy acceleration. The four-wheel drive does a sensational job of that. Like I was saying, sitting in the passenger seat while Patrick drives, I'm getting a little queasy. My stomach is <laughs> flip flopping. I feel like I might have to uh <laughs> might have to pull might have to pull trig after we get back to the house. Holy <laughs> Dude it just it just puts you back in your seat like nothing I have driven so far. Ever, ever. Honestly, once the owner puts this Gentani exhaust on it, I don't think there will be a lot of better cars that can be this theatrical and this much of a just raw expression of performance driving like i said it's so raw it's so aggressive it's so brutal in the way it delivers the power through that transmission and you just have that roar of a naturally aspirated v12 symphony behind you that formula is pretty much sold to Lamborghini that's what makes them so special that's why they is that statement from Mr. Ferruccio Lamborghini when he was competing with Ferrari back in the day <coughs> you buy a Ferrari when you want to be someone you buy a Lamborghini when you are someone because you are that person that appreciates that soul that passion for driving I mean what a machine what a machine and what an opportunity i'm so thankful to the owner such an awesome guy thank you thank you so much for this opportunity oh insane insane insane, insane.
<laughs> Unbelievable. All right, guys, that concludes the driving experience and review. Honestly, absolutely monumental car, insane. Thank you so much to the owner. Absolutely legendary.